being shot and almost losing your life it's like the day of it every moment felt different from a regular day the devil can't stop me type stuff because i knew he constantly was trying to stop me so at this moment i'm like i'm strong enough where he just can't stop me when he shot he shot me in the all i could do then was just like this i sat there and just looked at the moon <laughs> So let's get into your story, man. Mm. If you don't mind. So you in a wheelchair, man. You're right. You ended up getting shot in 2016. Can you tell yeah. us the story? What happened that day and how the effects that it had on you as a person and the changes, you know, just the whole nine. Well, I I like to start with just like honestly, I always been myself. So, you know, like I really ain't, I'm still the same person, but of course you could see that I progress from like, you know, of course, when you know me back then type of shit, but I'm still that same, you know, person. Yeah. Recently I was talking to, you know, somebody, it's just like being shot and almost losing your life. It's like the day of the day of it, it's like every moment felt different from a regular day. Every moment felt different. Everything was a choice. When I say I had multiple choices, I was just recently talking to somebody that was telling me how one of her friends had passed and shit. And I was explaining to her that, believe me, that person had a choice that led up to the death. Because in life, we go down a path and we come up with like a certain point in our life where it's a choice we got to make. It's either a left or a right. It's always two. But it's really a third, which is nothing. Where you just sit there and wait. You don't want to be that person. Because then you're not moving in life. So, okay. to get into the story, I'll make it short. Because it's, it's, it's too deep. It's real long. Whatever it's, you're comfortable with, Sharon, my brother. Yeah. <sighs> To get into the story, it's like the day of the event, it felt like any other day. But it was like, again, around this time in my life, I felt my most strongest. I felt like my strongest self at around this time. So it's like I understood why why this happened to me type stuff. Because it's like when you constantly getting tested by the devil, you understand. You you understand once, right. once a certain amount of times it happened. So it's like... This time, I felt like he definitely rolled his dice different this time. Because at this moment, I had everything I wanted. Everything I wanted at the time. I had the most money I had in my life. And that was just by working and just staying consistent. Yeah. I had the shorty I wanted. I had, and, and I had, what else I had? Oh, and I had an opportunity to go on a tour around. It was like, yes, yeah, it, was, it was around August 2016. So I, I had the opportunity to go on the tour. So it's like, I felt good at this moment. I started looking into religions and stuff. I wanted to find out about religion. I was looking into like, just to see like the similarities, try to figure out what was, what really is going on with religion type stuff and why people so deep into it. But I started working out. So I felt at this moment, my strongest. And I think I messed up because at this moment, it was, I felt like I was like, not even, I was like, the devil can't stop me type stuff. Because I knew he constantly was trying to stop me. So at this moment, I'm like, I'm strong enough where he just can't stop me. And I believed that at this moment. I felt like when I walked, I felt like the ground cracked on me. Like real shit. So like of this day, I had a choice rather to just stay home or go out. I had to end up choosing to go out. And at this time, I my car was in the shop. Mm -hmm. So it was like, oh, uh, I can make anything happen. Went out. I wouldn't have never, like, I wouldn't even have, like, I chose to take the bus instead of calling somebody. I could have called anybody, but it was one of those moments I was like, I could get this done. I'm not the type of man to ask for things. I don't like asking for things, even though I will deserve a things i could easily ask for things and anything i could get anything i don't know why but I, I could get it but i wanted to make it happen and be a man make it happen myself type stuff on my 18s i'm like i'm gonna make this i feel you. A road getting on the bus i'm telling you never in my life have i 
I felt so watch your back. Like it, it just was like watch your back. I've been all different type of places, walked all different type of places. Like I didn't wear blue and blood spots, red and crib spots. Been all different type of places, real stuff, and I ain't been touched. So it's like this night, I'm kind of some is on me and telling me to watch my back so hard. And I just thought it was weird because I remember seeing getting on the bus, getting on the bus and looking at a guy and going, I hope he making. I don't know what what made me go like, dang, I, don't, I, I hope he, I hope he make it home safe. I was looking out for him. Mm -hmm. Like, what the fuck wrong with me? But from my understanding, which I know I, my eyes wasn't tripping, the bus was supposed to have dropped me off literally two minutes away from my um grandma house. Two minutes. And I know I was looking at this app right. I don't know if the routes changed on the app, but they ain't never changed in my life. Like, I don't understand it. But being on this bus and it's going, it ends up passing the stop it's supposed to turn off. That's what threw me off. It ended up going from two blocks, like seven blocks. I, I go up to the bus driver, of course, I'm, you know, oh, what's going on, boom, boom, boom. She like, this the last stop, baby. I'm like, damn. I was you the worried. last one on the bus or was you still nah, on the bus? It was, okay. I was actually talking to somebody on the bus that knew me from, you know, talking to one of her friends. Just sitting there thugging. And, and, and it's crazy because we got off the bus at the same stop. And she told me some people always tell me, get home safe. And I told her, you get home safe too. It's like shit. And I always got home safe. But anyway, here go my choice in life. On the left side of me, which I ain't tripping, but it's like, I have always been a spiritual person. So it's like, I'm very spiritual. But for some reason, I'm like, I don't want to go down this street and go past all these negative people because I can feel the energy. Oh, it it Most was definitely. bad. It was bad this night. <sighs> This night, it's like I'm feeling it in the earth. But this night, it's my my habitat. This my element. It's it's one of them like dark nights, but it's like it's a full moon. Like it's hot as hell at night type shit. I love them nights for some reason. I don't nah, know why. Get up, get up I out of here. I don't know why. I, I hate just, when it's hot at I night. Take get up out of here. <laughs> just be outside with your shirt off. Like get in this the woods where, or something. Where is it? Get them up out of here. But look, look, look. cool off at I'm night. Trying, the sun I'm sleep, trying. the heat should be sleep. About trying to cool <laughs> off. But anyway, go back. <laughs> Motherfucker, we outside tonight. <laughs> look at, I, but look, you know. Look to the left. I see prostitutes, pimps, drug dealers. I see fiends. They off that shit. And it's like, I don't know why this street block. I'm talking about, it's like a party on this motherfucker. A block party. It, it's so many of them out on this one sidewalk. Like, I'm like, if I walk through that, they definitely, I don't know what will happen. Like, I ain't scared of nothing happening to me, but the energy I'm walking through, like, that shit stink over there. <laughs> right. It did. Like, <laughs> so I'm like, mm. Left, then I look down the street, which I know this street. I know the street. My my people's been over here for 15 years. 15 years of my life. Like I know this down street. Of course it's dark, but I'm I'm seeing this street. I'm like, I'm gonna go down the back way. But as I'm going down the back way, of course it's I don't know if it was a pimp and two holes or a, I don't know it was two holes in the pimp. But look, they was walking. I promise, this the weird shit. I'm walking behind them. I look down on my phone, text. I look up. They gone, nigga. You got out the uh, spawn radius. <sighs> These motherfuckers disappeared somewhere. You, like on GTA, where you look one way, look back. Where it was over there, Man, gone? Like that? Man, they was gone. It, gone. it didn't make no sense. I was like, where the hell they went? Kept walking. And as I'm walking, I'm just feeling so good. I'm not even going to lie. I, I felt so. I was feeling so blessed. It's like, I hear it. I'm hearing I'm coming up on an argument and shit. It's like a young dude and an old man. But as I'm listening to it, I could hear it from hell afar. So I'm hearing it all the way down the street. I get to it. Old man, like, to get straight to it, he like, you better stop that young man. He explaining to him, like, some, some, some. At this time, it's like, oh, they arguing. Probably a granddad and a grandson or something. Because they was going. <laughs>